It's great. It was, uh, I think, a lot. Pretty much everyone expected it to be high-paced, uh, pretty intense, good battles. So it's good. felt felt good to get back on the ice in a legit practice. Um, you know, get back with the guys and get things going. And for day one of camp, especially the second half of that practice, you know, you guys have to ramp it up because of the Europe trip. But just how different did that feel for a day one of camp practice? Yeah, I mean, um, I feel for me that was like a pretty typical, obviously practice for camp I feel like you usually get to that in probably like day three or four on a normal camp um, but we jumped right into it but I think the guys have done a pretty good job uh, you know getting here early in the summer and uh, kind of already ramping up into it so I um, thought the guys looked good out there they were crisp um, high pace good battles and then obviously the second half got into a little bit of system stuff slowed it down a little bit so it's a good skate and um, just gets you excited. Yeah, I think the first thing that he spoke about was just uh, playing at a high pace. I think uh, last year we spent a little too much time in our D zone, which led to uh, you know extended D zone coverage. And then when you get the puck, you're a little too tired to play offense, and your decision making starts to go once you get tired. And um, I think that's going to be a big emphasis for us moving forward is just to exit the zone quick and have a game plan for that um, and get to play offense. And um, I think for me. Um, individually, something in particular is just um, awareness in the D zone, um, just habits, cleaning those up, and um, you do those, you're going to get the puck more, and then I get to go play offense and let the skill come out. Somebody uh, got a little bit physical out there, so I kind of took a took a bump from Krebs there. You like having that sort of physical, maybe maybe not to that level, but having having a little bit of that so early on in camp to get you ready. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, sometimes it gets a, a little over the top, but I don't think that was. I think it's fine. Um, yeah, you need that. You need the physicality. Obviously, in games, it's going to happen, and um, that needs to be an element and a staple of our team this year is the, the physicality. I think that's something we try to add to our team, and um, I think we've done a good job of it over the off season and just um, adding pieces that are, are going to be physical, tough to play against, and it starts in practice. If you're tough on your teammates, then uh, when it happens in games, they're ready for it. So I think that's a, a good indicator day one. You know, it's, it's a good day uh, when you see guys bumping and running into each other. Um, that's usually a good sign. He stopped practice, said don't go offside. He stopped the other drill, called the one group together. You guys talked about accountability. How much does it start right here in practice and just making sure you have good habits? Yeah, I think you just said it. Accountability is all all about habit habits, and um, you can't let anything go. I think you let one thing go, then you know you let another one go, and then it starts to develop into bad habits. And obviously, he, he blew it down right there, right away. Um, but I think the accountability thing starts with yourself too. You got to look in the mirror and um, make sure that you know that you you've got more to give. And um, you know, if you're not then it's got to be the teammates, and then if it's not your teammates, then it's got to be the coach, and obviously he's blowing it down, making sure we're doing the right thing, and um, those little things will add up over time. Um, they'll transfer into games, and then those games will transfer down the road into, you know, hopefully making a push and making the playoffs, and that's that's just how you create a winning culture, I think, and um, it's good to see that on day one. Cage, what did you notice from all the new additions, Sam Lafferty, Obey Kubel, Beck Malenstein, what they Team. I know it's been one practice, but sort of gauging what they can bring to the roster. Yeah, I think uh, obviously the first thing that stands out with all those guys is the speed. They're all very fast players, very tenacious on the puck. Um, you know, you get the puck on your stick and you look up, there's someone right in your face, and it's usually one of those guys. So um, that's the, the kind of intensity and relentlessness you need, um, especially in the D zone if we want to exit early and get to go play offense. Um, that's just tough to play against. and. I think if you're on the other side of that, it gets frustrating, and that's going to be a big goal of ours is frustrating other teams and just kind of breaking their will. What did you love about this last April when you left and, and a little bit now, um, the, the accountability? And you guys are all friends. You've been friends. We know you're close. But do you feel comfortable now that you can look a guy in the eye and hold him accountable and you all still you know, be close when it's all said and done and over with? Yeah, I think, um, you know, like you said, there's – there's a really tight group in that locker room. And if someone says something to you, it's not because they don't like you or they think you're a bad player. It's because they, they want the best for you and they want the best for the team. And I think um, it's all coming from a good place. And I think everyone in there knows that. And at the same time, like I said earlier, it's, it's got to come from within you. Um, you got to be the first person to look, look in the mirror and say you weren't good enough. And uh, whether that was in practice or a game or you know the whole season or whatever it may be, um, obviously last season, for me, 
wasn't good enough and I have a lot more to give and um, that's something that I'm taking a lot of pride in over the summer and making sure that I'm ready to go right from the, the start of the season and um, I think a lot of guys feel the same way towards themselves and um, at the same time you're going to be picking each other up we're not trying to beat each other down in the locker room but um, I think guys realize that when someone comes to you and says hey you got to make that play or something of that nature it's it's coming from a place of hey we're, we're all pulling the same direction. They trade for Byram and he had won a Stanley Cup and kind of like Bo you guys trade for McLeod and then we got to game seven of the cup final three months ago like how significant is that to have a guy like that in your room who was just there you know not many of you have been there. Yeah it's huge I mean experience is is a big factor and we got some guys now that have made it far in playoffs and made good runs and played with players that are beyond elite and know what it takes to win. And obviously playing with guys like that, you pick up certain habits and things that they've done that's gotten them there. And, um, you know, for, for us to be able to bring in pieces like that is going to do nothing but benefit us as a group. What did you learn about yourself last year? I mean, obviously you were hurt and it wasn't the start you wanted personally, but you were able to, you got going and, and look like yourself toward the end just what like what did you take away from it what did you learn about yourself um I think for me like looking at the season as a whole obviously I felt like I, I grinded through a lot of things and um personally was like happy but at the same time you can't be happy with the way the season ended and you can't be comfortable where you're at whether you have a good season or a bad season um for me it doesn't really matter you you're always hungry to get better and for me like I've already set a standard that is better than what I did last year. So anything short of that is, is just not good enough. And, um, you know, I'm always trying to exceed those personal expectation and goals. And um, I didn't really even come close to those. So, um, you know, statistics or whatever um, weren't, weren't good enough. And um, other aspects of my game that you can't put a finger on as far as statistics, like just the consistent compete, it, it just needs to be way better. So, um, those are things that I've really um, looked at over the summer, watched a lot of the games back, and just areas I can improve on the game, and um, just trying to learn and grow. The Devils were hard to play against when Lindy was coached, particularly when they were healthy uh, two seasons ago. When you know, Just thinking back to the way that, that that group played, the speed, the pressure they put on the puck, it's one thing for a coach to you know draw up X's and O's on the board, but what does it do for you guys as a group to really reflect on, well, this is the way that he got that group to play? And the skill sets and a lot of what you guys have in that room is not only similar to New Jersey, but you could argue that you guys they probably have more skill and talent. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's just about commitment. Um, if everyone commits to you know what he he's throwing out there and everyone's on the same page, I think we're going to have success. So it's just got to be everyone buying in. And... Um, a lot of selflessness, you know, it's, it's got to be things that are not fun to do, which are, are going to get, get the job done. Um, you know, he's already talked about tracking, being non-negotiable, everyone tracks, um, competing. I think you guys saw a little, little taste of it there the first, uh, 30 minutes there, um, just up and down the sheet, um, battling through stuff when, when you get tired. And those are things that, uh, winning teams do and that we obviously haven't done enough of. So I think it's just committing to, to the, the hard part of the game. I'm sure so much of it's going to be trusting the offense will come because he wants the foundation to be work ethic. So how, you know, be, you know whether it be whether it's positioning in the D zone or something else, how do you just balance that that piece of it? Well, I think the offense will come from playing good defense. I think you know, obviously, if you're spending 30 seconds in your own zone, by the time you get the puck, you're too tired to make any plays. And um, I mean, if anyone plays hockey and knows when you get tired out there first thing to go is your brain you start making dumb plays and that just leads to more d zone time and i think our goal is to exit the zone quick go play offense and um we have a skilled group that can score we've proven that we can score but i think um last year we just maybe spent a little bit too much time and shot ourselves in the foot a little bit and, and making the game a lot harder on ourselves Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you get, you get matched up against different pairings and, um, you know, certain situations are a little more tough to, to get shots off or find ways to score. And 
those are just things you got to work through and try to find different ways to score. I think for me, last year, um, there was a few games where I maybe I was a little too perimeter, um, could have gotten to the net a little bit more and um, slow the game along a little bit too much. Um, instead of just using my size and speed, I feel like that's when I'm at my best is when I'm driving the, the play and taking pucks to the net. And then from there, then I get my time and space where I can make plays and slow the game down. So um, it, it, for me, it just kind of goes back to the consistency thing. Um, you know, obviously you could probably chalk a lot of that up to injuries and make excuses, but at the end of the day, there are none. Um, if you're going to get on the ice, whether you're at 50% or 100%, you, you got to be the best player on the ice. So um, I think that's kind of those things that you learn from and try to improve your game. Yeah, I think we can. We got the same same personnel and um, guys that have been together before. Um, got a lot of skill in the lineup, so it's not for a lack of skill. I think it was, goes back to just the commitment to working before the skill. I think last year we kind of wanted it easy on the power play, thought we were going to get a goal, and then you don't score and you let that affect you mentally, and then it spirals. So um, it comes with work first. You got to outwork the PK. The PK is always going to send out their – four hardest workers that's usually who kills penalties for you and um if you're sending that power play out they got outwork them so starts with that and then i think just simplifying getting pucks to the net getting them in chaos getting them running around so then your seams open up from there and i think last year we forced a lot of stuff that we didn't really make the pk work thanks everybody thanks, thanks.